Today, we're going to show you how to add Auto Guidance Plus to your new Echo Map UHD2 chart plotter preloaded with Garmin Navionics Plus charts. For this process, you will need a SD or micro SD card. Chart plotters can have different maximum card sizes. Please refer to the link below to determine the appropriate card size to use as your active captain memory card. It is recommended to purchase a micro SD card that includes a full size adapter. This will allow use with any device. We are going to perform this process on a compatible Apple iPhone or iPad with the Active Captain app installed, but the steps are similar on Android smartphones and tablets. First, locate and download the Active Captain app from the Apple App Store if you do not already have it installed. Open the app once the download is complete. Read and agree to the terms. Select Continue. Log in to your Garmin account using your credentials, or create an account if you do not already have one. Here is where you will enter your personal information, then select Next. The Active Captain app will ask if you would like to use Bluetooth. Select OK. You can connect the Active Captain app to local networks. Select Skip. The Active Captain app will ask to allow notifications. The Active Captain app will ask if you would like to allow access to your location. Select Allow while using app. Now create an Active Captain card. This process is the same on all compatible Garmin Marine devices. Check out our video for more instructions. We now need to set up Active Captain on the Echo Map UHD2. You will need to ensure that your Echo Map's Wi Fi network is turned on. Select Home on the Echo Map UHD2. Select Settings, then select Communications, Wi-Fi Network, and then toggle Wi-Fi On. Press OK to configure the Wi-Fi connection for the first time. Choose Wi-Fi Host or Client. For this video, we will make this Echo Map a host. Next, make a unique name for the Echo Map's Wi-Fi network. Please make sure to not name this after your home Wi-Fi network or other local networks. Then enter a minimum of eight characters for a password using a combination of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. For additional security, use at least 12 characters. Select Done. Now that Wi-Fi is turned on, we can connect the Echo Map using the mobile device and Active Captain app. Navigate to your compatible Apple iPhone or iPad settings. Then select Wi-Fi. Locate and select the Echo Maps Wi-Fi network you just created. Enter the password you created for the Echo Maps Wi-Fi network. Select Join. Navigate back to the Active Captain app on your compatible Apple iPhone or iPad. Active Captain and the Echo Map will now prompt a message asking if you are the owner of the vessel. Ensure the email address is correct. Then select Yes. Then select Done. Followed by OK. Now that we have connected to the Active Captain app for the first time, we will need to get reconnected to your home or local Wi Fi network to complete the activation of your preloaded charts. Select Chart. Select OK on the newly added Garmin Navionics Plus subscription. Select Menu. Select Downloaded Charts. A blue rectangle will represent the area being downloaded. This can be adjusted by zooming in and out with two fingers or using a corner of the blue square to adjust the area. Then select Download. You can continue to select other areas or view the downloaded chart. Zoom into an area you downloaded with water. This will show contours and spot depths depending on your chart selection. Now we can transfer the charts to the Echo Map. Connect your compatible iPhone or iPad back to the Echo Map's Wi Fi network. The charts will start to transfer after a period of time. Make sure the charts are fully transferred and have validated to the Echo Map before disconnecting from the Echo Map's Wi Fi network. You can now create an auto guidance route within the downloaded area. 
Keep in mind, this can only be initiated on the water and will not work properly on land. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit marinesupport.garmin.com.